Hey guys, so I am back with another episode and on this episode, this is going to be a little bit of a continuation regarding B. Simone, but there's some new information and allegations regarding her entrepreneurial techniques, <laughs> if we'll call them that. Um, she's being accused of plagiarizing because one of the things that she has under her list of entrepreneurial gigs is being an author. And she wrote a, I guess we can call it a best-selling book because she sold out, sold, you know, a number of copies and made a lot of money from selling this book that she wrote called Baby Girl Manifest the Life You Want. And so since she's come out with the interview where a lot of people were dragging her because of the comments she made about not wanting to date anyone who wasn't an entrepreneur, which that was what my last episode talking about her was touching on. And also just saying, I, I was not aware of who she was. I really didn't know who she was, never heard of her before. So I wasn't trying to be shady when I said, who is B. Simone? But I just really didn't know who she was because I'd never heard of her. But I'm not a millennial and I would, venture to guess that the majority of the people who ride for her, who are her fans, who are her followers, and who put the finances in her pocket because they're buying her stuff are pretty much millennials, people who are around the same age as her or younger than her. And so I don't know who she is. So anyway, it's since come out that this book that when she was dragged on social media and she came back out with a statement pretty much you know saying look the life that i created i manifested and i'm going to go back and read my own book so that i can manifest my husband well there are some people that have been coming out and they're saying that she has copied a lot of the things that she has in her book from other people well this article from cheat sheet is talking about this and so they basically are writing B. Simone is celebrating her financial success in the opening of her co-working space in Atlanta but a new controversy is brewing on Twitter some writers are accusing B. Simone whose real name is Braylon Greenfield of copying their work L of boss girl bloggers became aware of the issue via email and she's been sharing examples of which writers content has allegedly been copied including her own. And this tweet from L at Boss Girl Blogger says, would love for the at the B Simone to stop, and she had stop in all caps, taking small content creators hard work and selling it as her own. Three exclamation marks. Disgusting. This is not entrepreneurship. This is plagiarizing. And that at the time of the screenshot had 18.5 thousand likes and over 8,000 people talking about it. According to this tweet, B. Simone allegedly plagiarized these bloggers, The Visionpreneur, The Morning Buzz, and The Happiness Planner. It looks like entire pages from B. Simone's book could be replicas of other writers' work. One of the bloggers, The Happiness Planner, wrote, we just bought their book and found at least three pages so far that are exact copies of our principles, even the font. <laughs> and I'm laughing, guys, as I read this, I'm sorry. I'm not getting choked up, it's just like crazy. But anyway, I mean, they could have at least modified them a bit, but no, and that's in quotes. The news is still making its way around social media with Twitter users calling B. Simone out. Some are saying this is a disgrace or deeming her a fraud and thief. Others are in disbelief. 
Somewhere online, B. Simone's manager, Miss Skittles, replied and said they hired a design company to handle the book. She claims they're wrapped up in a lawsuit with the firm. But apparently this isn't B. Simone's first controversy. She made some comments and faced some backlash about comments she made regarding George Floyd's untimely taking out, I won't say passing. Um, and it, people were just put off by it. And it was a little bit self-serving and definitely just like an easy cop out to say, you know, I'm trying to be a godly person or whatever she was saying. And it's like, okay, yeah. Here are my thoughts on this situation because recently, as recent as I've been recording this, the rapper Meek Mill came out and defended her for you know what she's done or what she's being accused of doing and he's comparing it to rappers lying in songs but it's not the same thing because rappers lying in songs saying that they're selling keys or they have property cars jewelry mansions or whatever that they don't really have that is storytelling versus somebody saying that they're an author stealing somebody's other you know bloggers authors whatever they call themselves written content and passing it off as your own is theft it's plagiarizing it it's not it's not the same as a rapper saying that they're doing stuff that they're not doing or saying that they own stuff that they don't actually own in songs that is storytelling whether people want to believe that rappers are telling the truth about those things or not is not the same thing so he comes across as very i'm just going to use the word stupid <laughs> when he makes that comparison because it is not the same thing it's not the same thing as a rapper who claims that they write their own lyrics when they actually have a ghostwriter they could just be lying and saying that they're writing their own lyrics but if they have a ghostwriter they're paying somebody to do that for them and Ghost writers, they write books for people all the time, but it's not the same thing as somebody claiming they wrote a book and then they're stealing somebody else's content and passing it off as their own works, their own thoughts, their own ideas. And that is what plagiarism really is. And guys, being someone myself who is an actual legitimate business owner who is in the beauty industry because I'm not knocking anyone who buys products wholesale and sell them retail but I mean basically that's all she's done is buy some things wholesale and sell them at retail and yeah you know some people may say well that's more than some people can do yeah that's true but it's not the same thing as somebody like myself who is a licensed esthetician who had to go to school and take training and become licensed and go through all of the hoops and hurdles and all of the different things that I've done over the years to create my business many years ago, many years ago. And then even with my skincare line that I created a few years ago, I'm a licensed esthetician. So I actually know about my ingredients. I know about my products. I know about the benefits of the certain ingredients to affect change in people's skin versus somebody who's just buying some products wholesale, slapping a, a label on them as this is what my products are and this is the name of my company and selling them retail. It's a completely different thing. So it really isn't the same. And so having the reach that she has, all of the followers that she has and to take somebody else's work and pass it off as her own it is not ethical and so the statement that her manager made that comes across as a little bit sketchy as well because here's the thing her manager says that they hired a design company to handle the book so now they're wrapped up in a lawsuit with a design company so they're basically trying to blame the design company for stealing somebody else's content. And while that might be the truth, that might be what they actually did, I'm not really sure if that is the truth because a design company, they're not getting your content for you. They're just pretty much coming up with the feel of the what type of pages you wanna use. Do you want to have pages with sheen and gloss to them or do you want to have paper pages that have the rough you know 
the rough feel to them. Do you want to have a hardcover? Do you want to have a paperback? Do you want this type of font? Do you want double spacing in between the sentences? And do you want the paragraphs indented at the beginning? And do you want color pictures on the pages or do you want black and white? Do you want this and do you want that? That is what the design company does regarding the book. They're not coming up with the actual content that's placed inside. So that's why to me that doesn't sound credible because you guys, I've written a book before and I'm in the process of writing a couple of other books and I've written several eBooks that are online and I can put links to those um, in the description box if you wanna check those out. But that's the thing with regards to the statement that her manager gave that doesn't make it sound credible. So when B. Simone says that she wants to be with an entrepreneur because she's up at three in the morning and you know working, maybe she's up at three in the morning because she's Googling other people's content to see what she can use. I'm just saying, because this does not look good. I'm not saying that she's canceled. I'm not saying that she's not gonna get over this. Usually people who are like herself and they have as many followers as they do, they will get over it. There'll be something else that'll come out in the news where this will be a, a non-factor and people won't remember about it. And even if they do, it won't you know, cause enough smoke for people to really care anymore. So she'll get over it, she'll rise above it and she'll do something else where this will just be, you know, a past moment. But if these people who are accusing her of plagiarizing their work take her to court, then that's gonna be a different issue. So in terms of her being canceled by the public and her fans and the people who've invested in her products and her works and they find her to be inspiring or whatever, Maybe not, but for the people who are accusing her of taking their work, they possibly could be. Because here's the thing, guys. Myself, being a business owner, I have had things stolen from me a number of times from people who I thought were my friends and people who were never my friends. People that I had given jobs to and people just, you know, Googling or whatever and finding my information and they decide to copy and paste and create a website to mimic mine. That stuff pisses me off. I just don't have the patience for people who claim to be successful, who claim to be in business, but they are making money off of the backs of other people's ideas and strategies and tactics so that they can put dollars in their pockets instead of being original and allowing God to make you an original instead of trying to be a carbon copy. And stuff like that just infuriates me and it's bothered me more so in my earlier years than it does now because I've had it happen to me a number of times where I won't say I'm numb to it, but I just have to say, huh, here we go again. And then just focus on me and continue grinding and moving forward and editing things and changing things up to do what I need to do to continue to stay original. Because me suing these people or taking them to court, they don't have anything. And then a lot of times they're just like a puff of smoke and I never hear about them or see about them ever again versus this situation with B. Simone. These people who are accusing her of taking from them, they don't have the reach and they don't have the following that B. Simone has. So it would be in their best interest to sue her because they're, bene they're not benefiting off of something that they created, but she is and they put in the hard work and effort and created the ideas and you know had the thoughts to do it, to implement it, to put it into place. And she stayed up until three in the morning to Google, <laughs> allegedly, and pull these works to create her book that she sold out of online. So people put millions of dollars in her, I won't say in her pockets because I don't know what her overhead is, so I don't know what her expenses are, but she earned it. Was it illegal? No. Was it ethical? Doesn't sound like it. And stealing someone's work, it's not criminal crime, but it is a civil crime that 
can be penalized in court, but they would have to take the measures to take her to court. So in all honesty, in a situation like this, it would be to their benefit and their best interest if they did sue her, if they can prove that she stole their works. Someone like me, why well, I have more than the people who stole from me and they're not benefiting more than I am, even though they've benefited because they made, even if they made a dime, they made too much because they did it off of my ideas and off of my strategies. But companies rarely sue small people. It's usually smaller people who sue companies, who sue corporations. It's usually the smaller dollar that takes the larger dollar to court because they're either going to settle out of court because nobody really wants to go to court. And then we can come to some type of agreement and then move on with our lives. So it probably would be in their best interest if they did move forward with a lawsuit and litigation against her in this situation because I have a heart for entrepreneurs. I talk about business a lot. I've been doing it for many years and I definitely have a heart for true legitimate small business owners. And to, you know, in today's times, entrepreneurship is supposed to be sexy, but it really isn't. Entrepreneurship is ugly, it's hard work, it's sweat, it's tears, it's crying, it's late nights, early mornings. It, you know, you're not out popping bottles and having fun with the girls and going on girl trips and whatever. You really don't have a life. And I did a video about this maybe over a year ago where I talked about how on, how entrepreneurship can be really lonely. It really is. But I'm not going to go off on that tangent too much more, but I want to know what you guys think about this situation. Do you believe that she took the works of these smaller people thinking that she would never got, get found out? Or do you feel that she didn't really take anything from them and there's really nothing new under the sun when it comes to manifestation because manifestation is really not a new thought, but it's possible that there could be some similarities and they're just thinking that it's their stuff when it really isn't. I wanna know what you guys think about it. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this situation. And thank you so much for supporting this podcast. You can find out how to do that by clicking the links in the description box or in the pinned comment to the top. And guys, this is the Minister of Beauty. I'm here to share the Bible. That's business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. So thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And until the next episode, have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day.